Hi, how are you? It's Deb from Tiny Deer Vintage and I am here with my Thursday jewelry sale. Um, most of what I have today is vintage, if not all. Um, if you see something you like, I just need you to email me at tinydeervintage at gmail.com. I accept payment through PayPal. Shipping starts at $6 um, and I will ship to other countries, but the cost will be higher. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start today with this beautiful uh, carnelian necklace and gorgeous, right? Gorgeous agate, carnelian, really beautiful, different shapes. These are little sterling silver beads and here is the clasp. Whoops, stop swinging. And I believe the clasp is sterling as well. Let's take a look at it. Get this bust out of the way. And I will turn the camera down so we can get a better look at these pieces as well. Let's see. Don't see, oh, there we go. Let's see, what does this say? Get my little loop here. Um, I believe I repurposed this sterling clasp. Um, yeah, this is a Ralph Lauren clasp. Yep. Um, I restrung these beads. So that is why it has that for a clasp. Not a bad thing by any stretch, right? Um, and this is going to be a set. So it comes with the necklace and I'm going to throw in these earrings that I made uh, to coordinate with it. If I can get them off, oh, I guess I should show them before I take them off the little earring holder. Here they are, really pretty. The same little sterling silver beads, and these are new sterling silver ear wires. Really pretty. And let's give you some measurements on these. This set is $32, and that includes both the earrings and the necklace. The shapes on this necklace are really something with the faceting, you have some smooth beads, um, these sort of squared rectangle tube beads, really beautiful. And let's see, can't go wrong for $32 with carnelian and sterling and <clears throat> okay, so the drop is 11 and then you have about another inch for that um, extender and it's $32 for the set. It's beautiful. Really pretty. Not too heavy and oh, I'll give you the drop on the earrings too. Let's see, they're about two inches. Nice length on these. And that's $32 for the Carnelian Agate set. Really pretty. Okay, so up next I have a gold tone vintage necklace that I think is beautiful. And this is from my collection. I had kept it because it's so beautiful and comfortable to wear. And I do that at least once every time. My apologies. The ring I'm wearing on my right hand has a little bit of height to it. And that was my light that I kind of smacked there. Here, let me turn this around. Okay, so this is long, so my bust is going to struggle with it because this is a shorter bust. But anyway, look at these beautiful, and this is a rich gold tone. This is not uh, cheap looking because it's older and they just they did things better um, so here's the part that can go around the back of your neck which I find to be very comfortable it sits nicely on the back of the neck and then you have this sort of um, book chain style uh, I know I twisted it all up sorry about that but anyway um, I'm offering this a fantastic price of $15. There's no clasp on it. You just slip it over your your head and it's a great piece. It's great for layering. You could hang something on one of these loops if you wanted to. $15. 
really beautiful. Let me get this out of the way, give you a measurement. Let's put the camera down so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so the drop on this beauty is it's about 16. Yeah, so a nice long piece. I will put it further back so you can really see the whole thing. Isn't it beautiful? I just think it's such a pretty piece. Uh, and I marked it down to $15. Okay, had to write that down to make sure. Okay, next I have these two bracelets. Um, the first one is, these are Pandora style, but they're lightweight. These are acrylic, but beautifully done. Look at that, it's so pretty. Nice and lightweight, silver tone, really looks brand new to me. It has these little crystals in it, and they are all present. And it has this toggle, it's really well done. I don't see any signature or marks on it, but it's a pretty piece. And I'll show you how it works here. You just clip this off and you can take the beads off you can reorganize them, you can add beads, take beads off, and I'll do this little beauty for, I'll do $12 on it. It's a nice piece, it really is. And that's how it looks on the wrist. $12 for the black and white, and then I have this one. Actually, let's do $10 on this one because I, I, don't, I think these uh, main components are acrylic and this next one coming up has glass so we'll do 10 on the black and white I'll do 12 on the gold tone glass again no signature same construction I'm showing you the chain it's really really pretty in really good condition and these are glass in this amber glass coloration really beautiful these look like new to me they really do this one's really pretty so these are beautiful glass beads um i wish i knew who the maker was because it's well done same toggle as the other one let me see let me just double check that to make sure there there isn't a signature that i have missed nope just gold tone so i'll do this one for twelve dollars really well made. I have a feeling these are probably a particular brand but it's not one that I am familiar with. But These are really beautiful. There might be some... Uh, are there any acrylics mixed in here? No, these are all glass. Oh, let me give you a length. Sorry about that. So the length on this one is eight inches but the uh, thickness of the beads are going to take up some of that so let me try it on and see if it fits my six and three quarter inch wrist and yeah I, I would say that this is going to fit a, a like a six and three quarter inch I don't even think it would fit a seven I think it would be too snug on a seven and let me measure the other one as well Sorry, I didn't do that before. This one, yeah, this one feels lighter. And this one fits about the same. So I would say you wouldn't want to be larger than a six and three quarter inch wrist. And this one measures, oh, this one's a little smaller. So maybe you'd want to be six and a half inches. Yeah, this is only seven and a half, so. Yeah, so that's those two. Um, oh, up next I have these really cool little carved boxes. And I'm selling them individually. Look at them. I think the stone is onyx. I am not positive what this stone is. But you can see the, um, 
I believe this is an Aztec Mayan type motif. This one is a little bit bigger than the other. It's a little longer. Beautiful scene there. Really pretty. And here's how it opens. And I have a little ocean jasper heart in there. Look how pretty that is. And I'll keep that in there so that'll go with the little box. So that's that's number one. And number two, let me number these on here. Black boxes. This is number one. And this is number two. And yeah, I was just measuring. This one has a bird. I'm trying to think of what that looks like. Yeah, I'm not really sure of the origin of these little boxes. I just know they're carved stone. One has a number one, one has a number two, so I imagine they were a set. This one has a piece of quartz in it. And I like to keep these little stone boxes by my bed and if I take a ring off during the night or whatever, I just put it in there. They're nice for little keepsakes and nice that they're natural stone. So, um, yeah, let's see. What did I price these at? So, I will do these for, did I write down 20? I'll do 18 each. And again, this is number two and this is number one. 18 inch. Or actually, if you want both of them, I'll do 30 on them together as a set. Really pretty. And let me give you a measurement on them. I love little stone boxes. I mean, I love miniature things anyway. So this one's two and three quarters by um, an inch and Sorry, my hand is in the way. Can't even see. There you go. Uh, what is that? An inch and a quarter? A little over that. And the height is, let's see, the height is about an inch and a half. And this one is similar. I think it's maybe a little bit higher and a little bit wider. And. It measures, yeah, two inches by an inch and a half by, what did I say for the other one? By an inch and a half, okay? So they're $18 each or the set for 30, okay? And they come with the little stones inside as a little gift from me, okay? All right. Um, Next up, I have the, a ring that I've shown before. I'm looking for my, oh, these little black velvet ring things. Oh, they're so like linty. And I know everyone complains about that, but it really can't be helped, <laughs> meaning other sellers. But yeah, I've got to get some of those nice acrylic ones. Anyway, I'm wearing this ring. I have to take it off. So this is a Sajin goddess ring. really beautiful. It's like new. Sterling silver. This is carved bone. Goddess face. She's beautiful. These stones, I don't know what they are. They're blue and green. You can see the multi-flash there. This is adjustable. Um, I believe it fits about an eight right now at its current size. I will measure that for you. There is the Sajin signature on the inside and let's see oh, I have a ring on here let's take this off and yeah right now it's measuring uh, an eight and a half it fits more like an eight though because of the width of this band and I would say you could go up to well you could go up to however you're comfortable you know with having this open like however much room you find comfortable in there so I would say at least a nine and then let's see if we close it all the way I would say it fit like 
Hmm. I should have had my daughter try this. She's a seven. I think it would fit a seven because of how wide the band is. So I would say seven to nine, very comfortably. And oh, price. This is $75. It's a bargain for one of these um, goddess rings by Sajin. Really beautiful. Okay. Lovely piece. Okay, next up, let's get this out of the way. I have oh a Simmons necklace, and this is Simmons, not to be confused with Simons, as in Ross Simons. I haven't really looked into Ross Simons, but I think that that, that might be two different last names, Ross and Simons, but I'm not positive because it does have a hyphen in it, and that's a store. I used to get their catalogs years ago and I, I used to look forward to getting the catalog and rifling through their beautiful jewelry. Okay, so this is crystal. So it's cut crystal. Here's the little dangle. I'm not sure if this is gold filled. A lot of the gold, uh, excuse me, a lot of the Simmons pieces were gold filled. Um, I did not test it and um, I'm pricing it low anyway, so I didn't price it as um, gold filled, but here, let's take a look at the construction. It, they are strung on a chain, and I know it's signed, okay, must be on the other side, and these are older, so you might find some little flea bites here and there, but this, um, this crystal is pretty robust. You can see it's still really in beautiful condition. <clears throat> I don't see any cracks or chips and the chain is in good condition. Sometimes you get these and the chain is so corroded. This does not need any restringing. It's just really beautifully, beautifully made. Um, and let's get that signature here right there s-i-m-m-o-n-s -M -M and i don't think it says anything else no it looks gold filled to me but like i said i did not test it little shepherd's hook there and that doesn't have any markings on it and i believe this is 18 inches but let me measure it and this simmons necklace is 30 dollars i'll do 30 on it that's a good price it's it's really beautiful Write that down and let me give you the measurement from end to end. You have this shepherd hook and you can clip it anywhere along this chain from the other side. And full length it is uh, 18 and a quarter inches. So yeah, and then you can adjust it along here. And that is $30 and it is a beauty. Look at that crystal really beautiful okay and it's graduated you have this nice big piece in the center okay I am uh, partial to these that's why I have it this is mine for my collection okay oh we're gonna really switch it up here now this is a cuff bracelet by Carolyn Pollock this is all sterling silver and brass, genuine. It is signed. Let's find where that is, because it's there's two markings on here. There's the word brass, so you know this is genuine brass. I'm not finding either mark, but I know they're here. So let me, okay. Here is the Relios by Carolyn Pollock symbol. I don't know if you can see that there. Here, let's let me try one more time with the magnifier and see if I can get it. See if I can get it this time. Oh, is this the one with the lights dead on? Oh, poop. Okay, so the light's not working, but let's see. Maybe we can get it anyway. Oh, that seems to be helping. So that's the little, oh, it's upside down.
can see I'm sorry about that you can see it okay I'm gonna stop doing that because I'm not really doing it very well as per use but look at that beautiful motif and what is this called this is called Carolyn Pollock Relios American West Cuff it is 58 grams um, it measures about two and three quarters uh, across the opening here it can be adjusted you see that um, so this is not the small size um, I know she has different sizes um, and I'll do this for a hundred dollars like I said it's 58 grams beautifully made signed Relios by Carolyn Pollock and yeah it measures about two and three quarters across the widest part here and let me show you what that looks like on my wrist <clears throat> so yeah I can wear it back on my wrist or I can pull it down like this and then just squeeze it in a bit so it's beautiful really stunning Oh, it's just it's just lovely I love mixed metals and you don't often get genuine brass these days I love it I'm partial to brass so that's a beautiful thing and that's a, an awesome price the the lowest one I could find sold at um, 130 and it was the small size I did research it so okay so Switching gears again, this is a Carol Lee necklace. I love this necklace. I held on to it for a little bit, and I've worn it a few times. I'm not necessarily a pearl girl, but this is just a thing of beauty. These pearls, they're glass, and they have beautiful sheen to them, and they're all individually pin set. You see that? and they are wrapped with other smaller crystals and then this um, little bead cup chain all the way through it with beautiful rhinestones on it so it has some glitter glitter to it you know some sparkle I mean little bead caps it looks new to me um, so it's in really beautiful condition it has lobster claw clasp and it's adjustable oh I'll show you her signature but the gold tone on this is just I think it's really superb it's beautiful and this is only $15 I will measure that for you that's the back this is her little hang tag it says Carol Lee right there and I'll tell you what this measures from end to end. Let's see. I know pearls are making a comeback in a big way, so it's a, a good time to grab something like this. Okay, so full length measured like this. It is about 18 and a half inches, and then you have the ability to adjust it and you know clip it anywhere here so you can make it shorter and that's fifteen dollars signed Carol Lee beautiful glass okay mixed components there oh next up I have these gorgeous uh, marcasite earrings I showed these once before and I wanted to show them again because I have this beautiful ring that coordinates really well um, with them so you have these gorgeous vintage sterling marcasite earrings they're beautiful they're pierced they are signed in the back um, 925 they have the little 925 um, earring backs the earring backs say sterling nope does that say yes the full word sterling 
and I don't know what the symbol is on the bottom. I'm sure it's probably the symbol for the maker. Let me see. Let me look at that again. Yeah, and I don't think I'll be able to magnify it enough to show you. Ugh, I really wish I could read it. It's so frustrating. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to frustrate my viewers. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that is, but yeah, it's not going to be able to focus. I don't think it's right down there. You can see it right there. And it also has Nine two five, and that looks like an S. And I don't know what else. Um, I thought I turned off my notices. I hope it didn't stop. Did it stop? No, it didn't. Okay, good. Um, and these beautiful earrings are twenty four dollars, and here, here's my measuring measuring tape and these are tangled up they are an inch and a half long really beautiful and I also have this ring now this is a Judith Jack ring and um, it's a heart really beautifully done it is signed and I don't think you'll be able to see it let's see if I can get shine a light on it oh excuse my arm guys sorry about that reach right in front <laughs> let's see if we can see it's right in there you can kind of see you see the word sterling and then right above that is the two triangles and the JJ for Judith Jack really beautiful and I think this is a six so let's check it yes this is a size six and I'll do this little beauty for what did I I know I marked it down the JJ ring I'll do this for $28 size six really beautiful with the sparkle all the marker sites are present it's a beauty size six and let me write that down where is it $28 okay now I have this blue glass brooch look at this beauty it has a little bit of some cloudiness in those stones but overall it is gorgeous um, the construction is stunning prong set look at these really beautiful so the round ones are a lighter blue and the square ones are a deeper blue this is how it's constructed constructed so there's a layer here in front and then you can see the back here how that is made really beautiful 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 and this brooch is $22 22 and it measures two, what is that is this two and a half inches I didn't think it was that big no okay it measures two inches it's beautiful and it's a bargain at $22 lovely old thing lovely okay next up I have I have two more pieces and then that's it for today and these are both stone both um, not sterling so the first piece uh, where is my where did I put my I'm losing things guys I'm losing my mind and you know I apologize for saying guys I don't know that kind of bugs me I don't like calling people guys but friends is also I don't know friends I don't know anyway 
makes me think of children because when I took my daughter to um, gymnastics classes, they, when she was little, they, they said friends. They called everyone friends. So now friends, we're going to. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, these are beautiful Labradorite stone. The stone is genuine and very pretty and flashy. I mean, it's really showing up here in this one on the camera. And, you know, Labradorite tends to be shy on camera. They're really beautiful, beautiful stones. And this is just a base metal, and so are the ear wires. If I had kept these, I was going to switch out the ear wires for sterling. But selling it as is allows me to keep the price low. I know it says 925 there. I tested these so many times, and you can kind of tell by the color of the metal this is not sterling, but gorgeous nonetheless. Not heavy. Oh, sorry, excuse me, I dropped my, my measuring tape. Okay, so these beautiful lab earrings are $20. Ugh, look at this one. They're beautiful. I thought about keeping them and taking the stones out and making something else with them but I decided against it. I still have a lot of um, lab cabochons from you know my jewelry making days not so long ago. So these measure about two and a quarter inches. Little lab earrings, really pretty. Okay, and last but not least is an absolutely stunning moonstone ring. The stone is really what makes it. It's also a comfortable ring, uh, very comfortable to wear, but look at this rainbow moonstone. Super flashy, good clarity, you can see right through it in a good part of the stone, so it, it really is a beautiful stone. However, it is set in this base metal ring. And that doesn't bother me. I do wear a lot of uh, base metal. You can get a lot of beautiful base metal rings that are vintage. Um, look at, you can see right through that. It's beautiful. I've handled a lot of moonstone. It's probably my all-time favorite stone. I still have a lot of moonstone cabochons. And this one is especially, especially beautiful. I mean, I can't say it enough, it's just gorgeous. And the face of the ring measures, I'll do this ring for $35. It's worth every cent. And the ring face measures an inch and a half. It is too small for me. I think this is about a seven and a half. I will put it on the ring mandrel and show you. Yes, it's measuring a seven and a half, and I, I think that's fair. I think um, I did have my daughter try this one on. It was a little big for her size seven finger, so I would say it's a seven and a half. You can see there, really stunning. Okay, I'm a little mesmerized by it. So that's it for today. I hope you saw something that you liked. And feel free to contact me with any questions that you have at tinydearvintage at gmail.com. As soon as these pieces are paid and uh, piece purchases from earlier in the week, I will get everything packed and shipped. Um, most of the items from earlier in the week, if not all, will go out first thing tomorrow. Okay? So that's it. Take care. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. I'll be back on Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Bye-bye.